Clutch Trucker, film before a live studio audience. Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, real short video today, and I know I say that many times and they end up not being, but I swear, I swear it's gonna be short, really. Just a quick update on um, getting stuck down there in West Monroe, Louisiana forever uh if you, if you watch my previous video i dropped my trailer uh, friday night 6 p.m well within my window i had until 8 p.m to get there and i had to drop the trailer and then they didn't do anything with it they just parked it over on a row and i'm like okay well if you're not going to do anything with it then i'm going to go to the nearest truck stop and i did called them uh the next day midday saturday which was the uh say uh, fifth <laughs> fifth and said, okay, so I guess you just haven't called me because, uh, you know, but you, you, I'm sure you're done unloading my trailer by now. And uh, Cooter tells me, uh, no, it, it's still loaded. It's still, I'm looking at it now. I'm like, oh, my God. So um, then, then he called me back later and said that there's a machine down that's receiving the scrap paper, which is what I had. And uh, it could be up to a day, as he said. It's going to be a while. Going to be a while. What the hell does that mean? Well, what it ended up meaning is they didn't get done with my trailer until uh, Sunday. I'd been there since Friday night. And they called me late morning on uh, Sunday and said, your trailer's uh, unloaded now. I'm like, really? Really? Are you sure? It's only been 40 plus hours. Are you sure it's unloaded? Gosh, that's so speedy. I was pretty hacked off. So I actually waited a couple more hours to go get it because I'm like, you know, I'm not going to make it more convenient for you. <laughs> but I went and, uh, and got the trailer and they had actually cleaned it out because it was scrap paper. I was afraid I was going to have to do that. That was uh, a pleasant surprise. I was amazed. Wow. Yay. Uh, so I thought, you know, I was supposed to pick up in Texarkana on Saturday. I had an all day window. And uh, I thought, well, you know, what the hell? I'll roll over there and see if they're still open today, Sunday, the 6th, and see if maybe I can still get loaded and salvage this next load. Because it, it doesn't deliver until Tuesday at 3 p.m. because of the holiday weekend. Uh, it normally probably would have delivered on a Monday, and I, I wouldn't have had enough time to make it there because it's just long enough that it was going to take more than uh, a day. Of driving. Well, I went over and uh, checked in at the place in Texarkana last night, uh, Sunday night, and yeah, they took me, they loaded me, uh, big rolls of paper, more paper. This time it's big rolls, not scrap paper. Had to load, load it two separate warehouses, but got loaded. It's amazing. Something actually worked out, so I was able to salvage the next load. So, in a way, because of the holiday weekend and not having to deliver till Tuesday, then uh, even being a day over a day behind of what I planned to pick up, I uh, was still able to get the load and I'm gonna still be able to deliver on time, which is nice. Right now I'm parked here at a Love's in Oak Mulgee, Oklahoma. Uh, never been to this Love's before. It looks like it's fairly new within the last few years. Uh, but you know, plenty of parking when I got here because I got here at like, you know, damn near two o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, the uh, 7th. And I'll leave uh, this afternoon sometime and then finish the drive up towards the Omaha area. Uh, somebody did put in a comment. Uh, I'm going to be going to all my comments and responding uh, to those of you who are put in comments today. Uh, but they said, hey, do you, uh, do you get reimbursed for that? Do you get any kind of compensation for uh, layover, detention time? It's called, in the industry, it's called detention time. And yes, you should normally get it. A lot of times you don't, depending on the broker. And like one time I got hung up at a shipper uh, 10 hours one time in um, somewhere in Illinois. I didn't get any money for that. I should have. But what happens, Turquoise Trucking is really good about, you know, hammering the brokers and making them pay, where my previous employer, employer did not. Um, but Turquoise is really good about that. And, the, and this broker, Echo uh, Global, that's on this load, uh, they're really good about paying the detention, usually. So, uh, yeah, I should get something for that. And I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet, but at least I should get something for having to wait 40 plus hours for them to unload me. So overall, good news is, yes, I got reloaded. Can still make my delivery on time. So that's 2,500 bucks. Well, I get 85% of the 2,500 for that load. 
that will go onto my check for the for this week. So that's good. That's helpful. I didn't want to have to lose that money because of the jack wagons down there in West Monroe, Louisiana. All right, I know I keep harping on it, but don't forget, uh, September 29th, Tuesday, it's coming up. Three weeks and one day until the new hours of service rules from the FMCSA go into play. The uh, Tuesday, the 29th of September of this year, 2020, those new rules go into effect. I'll put the description down for the video all about it, about where I explain the whole, all the new changes. And uh, I've got two videos, one about uh, the changes overall and one just dealing with the 30 minute break rule, okay? I'll put both of those in the description so you can go right to them if you haven't watched those yet. It's that important because it's gonna make our lives a hell of a lot easier out here on the road uh, as far as making uh, these runs work and giving us a little more flexibility uh, and a chance to, to rest when we need to and so forth. I'm liking most of the changes. They're not all perfect, but they're a hell of a lot better than what we had before. Hey, as always, uh, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, please like, please comment, please ring that bell for notification. As always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch out.